So um, I'm done with my last run for the towpath half marathon. I actually did it today. Um, I just actually went to the gym and then run like a solid 30 plus uh, minutes. Um, tomorrow I'm not gonna be doing any run. Uh, I'll probably just do like some few strides and that's pretty much it. So that's how I always do it. I don't normally run, like run, run before like the day before the race because I'm I'm giving myself more of like a full recovery before the race and I always feel good like doing like this now that I'm actually done with all my major workouts for this half marathon so I think I can give you guys a little bit more specific detail like of my goal for this half marathon so three days ago I did my last long threshold run and uh, my goal for that run, my original goal for that run was to actually do like a full 60 minute, like a real solid threshold run. And um, when I was almost done with my workout, I decided to, like I said, like I probably can push this and maybe close like a 10 mile run today. So I was able to do that and I ran 10 miles in one hour, six minutes and three seconds. I would say that that workout was probably the best workout for this entire training cycle and that's also actually a PR run for me for that distance um, just that just that workout actually gave me like more of like a specific goal for this half marathon I would say based on that workout I can really say that I think I'm gonna stick to like more of like a 125 half marathon pace of course, uh, there's always uh, there's always a lot of things could change, you know, from the start of the race and of course during the race. Let's say if I'm hitting like a little bit faster than 125 goal pace from the start and without really feeling of like kind of pushing the pace so hard, like those kind of things or whatsoever, then I would probably try to maintain that pace and see how it goes. But of course, if that pace is, uh, you know, like maybe just for a start and then I'm starting to feel like I'm pushing the pace to maintain it, then I will try to stick with my original plan, which is try to go back to 125 half marathon pace. And if, you know, things are not going right, uh, I'm not feeling good, then um, I would probably switch my goal to maybe like trying to still hit like you know like a pure half marathon pace so I think that's gonna be like more of like a sub 128 pace like I said of course there's there's always a lot of things to change um, also like some factors that could affect the race like of course the weather and the course speaking of the weather the weather or the weather on Sunday is actually gonna be very ideal for racing it's a high of 61 degrees and low of 52 so that's definitely like a real ideal weather for this half marathon and that's really a good thing but also this weather could change like in one or two days because um, I actually checked the weather just yesterday and there was a chance there was a 40% chance of rain so now it changed and of course it could change like from one or two days as well so yeah um, I'm just really hoping that uh, we're getting like a real decent temperature or this weather for this half marathon and I already got my bib number it's right here 9311 and of course the shoe that I'm gonna be using is the Vaporfly um, I officially put like 50 miles in the shoe uh, a couple of days ago like when I did at my last like long threshold run so the longest time that I use is like an hour and I think this shoe is now ready like re like it's ready for racing and I will try to do my best to get some clips so I'm gonna be filming this run I'm gonna be using this camera I know that it's gonna be a little bit challenging for me to do this focusing on the run at the same time filming 
but um, I'll do all my best to get some of these important clips for the whole race and yeah, we'll see how this thing goes. So tomorrow is Saturday and we will actually be heading to Cleveland and uh, I would say that I think I'm ready for this race. Um, I think I've done all the workouts that I needed for this race and now I'm just really gonna focus on like more of like the mental thing about this and um, I cannot really promise like 100% whatever like goal that I said but um, I will definitely give everything for this race hopefully I can get a really really good time for this half marathon so this is all for today guys thank you again so much for being here if you're new to the channel please subscribe I'll see you guys very soon.